It isn't very often that you see heads of state battling for athletic titles, but equestrian sports are a way of life for Dubai's royal family and ruler Sheikh Mohammed. He's one of the top-ranked equestrians in the world and spends freely to build what is the largest collection of horses in the world. He keeps horse farms in South Carolina and Kentucky. I love this country and the people. Princess Haya, Sheikh Mohammed's wife, is the elected president of the International Equestrian Federation. The Sheikh's sons, including Crown Prince Hamdan, often ride with him in competition. The preferred sport, endurance. This race is different, you know. You, there no jockey or trainer. You be the trainer, the owner will be the trainer, and the owner will be the rider. When I spoke with the Sheikh before the race, he said that when he's riding, the horse is the only thing on his mind. That has no doubt been an escape from the pressures of office. But the escape doesn't take the royal family out of the public eye. Dubai Sports broadcast the royal team's progress live from the World Equestrian Games in Lexington, Kentucky, an audience thousands of miles away watched the entire 12-hour, 160-kilometer endurance race without commercial interruption. This is the hardest race I ever rode. Still, the crown prince did manage to coach the UAE team to a first-place win, sitting in the team leader's role for the first time. Sheikh Mohammed rode as an individual, taking second place. A victory, and then back to work. When tomorrow's finished, then our mind will be back home.